Therefore, Samsung's S series of phones now include four back cameras as a result of the Ultra range. However, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will only have three. Before you freak out, let me explain why that is a good thing. You see, Ice Universe leaked information a few months ago stating that Samsung will use a new technology for the zoom feature. The zoom camera will get a significant boost, but the primary camera will not change. We weren't really sure what he was talking about at the time, but now he is providing additional context for what his tweet truly meant. In essence, he is stating that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will have one less camera than the S23 Ultra. In order to fully rely on the periscope sensor for all zooming operations, Samsung will do away with the 3x telephoto zoom sensor. Let me first quickly explain why Samsung has two zoom cameras on its Ultra phones before I discuss why it's a good thing. You see, the S23 Ultra's periscope zoom camera produces superb images at its original 10x zoom setting. Any zoom level below 10x results in worse quality. Although a 10x zoom is wonderful, it isn't always necessary. Instead, you need a short-range zoom, more especially a 2x or 3x zoom. Samsung thus included a second 3x zoom sensor for short-range zoom since it is much more helpful. The issue is that although the S23 Ultra produces superb images at zoom settings of 3x and 10x, everything in between, such as 3.8 or 8.3 times, degrades the quality as you can see above. So what is the answer to this problem? Replace the standard periscope zoom camera with a new one called a continuous zoom camera, it's that easy. This allows you to zoom in at any level, 4x, 5x, 6x, 7x, 8x, and 9x, while maintaining the same degree of quality as a 10x zoom. Additionally, according to Ice Universe, Samsung will use the same sensor in their continuous zoom periscope camera, the S24 Ultra. Now, why is it a good thing that the S24 Ultra's 3x telephoto camera is gone? There is simply no justification for them to incorporate a second zoom sensor since this continuous zoom camera can do the same functions as a 3x zoom camera. Samsung's manufacturing costs will go down as a result, allowing them to maintain the same pricing. One fantastic sensor replaces two, addressing one of the main issues with periscope zoom cameras, and it also results in a little cleaner back design for us customers. Hence, a win-win scenario for everybody. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that been said let me know your thought in the comment below and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.